What's going on guys, it's Tox. We're back here with another video, another tutorial. Um, and this one we're gonna focus on the background. Um, I, we constantly get um, you know, people asking about how to go about changing the background, especially like the background video um, feature. Um, if you have plain Jane light, if you don't have plain Jane light, if you have plain Jane starter, you're not going to have the background video option or these background overlays um, either. Um, so for plain Jane starter, all you're really going to have is just the background image, or you can put a GIF in here too. Um, but it's you only have that and just background color. While in light, you have the background image, video backgrounds, background colors, and background um, gradient overlays. Um, but right now, you know, um, we're going to jump into talking about uh, this video background first because this is the one that we get the most questions on. Um, and I'll explain what this note here means as well. This is super important. But basically, all right, to upload your own video. So first, of course, you have to have your video, whatever whatever video it is. And you're going to want to go back to the Shopify admin section. And you're going to want to click on content from the left side and then click on files. All right. So once you do that, you'll see the screen pop up and it allows you to upload whatever files that you want to your Shopify store. So you're going to want to upload your MP4. Um, this is the video format we recommend always, always just upload MP4. It's, sim it's simpler. Um, and you do that by hitting the screen upload files button over here. Just give a second to pop up and then you can upload, you know, find wherever it is and, and you know, upload your content. Once you do that, you'll see this link pop up here. And all you have to do is click copy link. They want to head back over to the customizer. And then you paste that in here. Just like so. And then make sure you click this option show background video here. And that's it. From there, uh, what I love to do um, is to use these gradient overlay features. And see how like you know of course we, we want to change the the menu icons to probably be white you know so you can actually see them i'll just do that really fast right and of course like the day and time i'll just leave that for another time um or focus on backgrounds today um what i also like to do is to play with these gradient overlays um you know you can make it darker Kind of like so. So this one is like the top portion. See how it's darker at the top. And you can change that color to whatever you want. So if you did a gray or if you did a red, you know, you can give some really cool effects by doing this. Um, if you go blue, you know, and then you can also like mix it with, uh, you know, a bottom color if you want to. So let's see how this looks. See, that's really dope. You know, like you can blend colors together and um, you know, you can, you can come up with all kinds of crazy combinations here. Um, the second set of options right here is the, um, it's for mobile. So if we switch to the mobile section right now, right, you know, everything goes away. You can kind of match the same thing if you want, you want to be different on, um, between the both for whatever reason you can do that. I don't know why you might want to do that, but some people, you know, everyone has their reasons. Yep, voila. That's kind of how that works. Let me turn these off. Now, there's a disclaimer when it comes to using the background video that a lot of people seem to read or to like miss. We have a note here that says displays on both desktop and mobile. Note on iPhones, if low battery mode is enabled, the background will not autoplay. These are guidelines set by Apple. What this means is some people, when they upload a video, right, and they, they're checking it out on their phones, they'll notice that, you know, the background video isn't auto playing. They just see like a uh, just like a play button that's in the background and nothing is moving. The reason for that is when your phone is in low battery mode, Apple by itself makes sure that any video background in any site it doesn't matter. It's not just your site, but any website online that nothing auto plays. So the reason that's happening is because the phone is in low battery mode. So we usually recommend the best practice here is for mobile. We, we generally don't like putting background videos for mobile. We always 
click this to show on mobile here, and then we upload a GIF instead. Let me see if I have a GIF in here actually, where we can demonstrate this. I'm not seeing a GIF. Let me see. We have no GIF here, but um, when you're actually going about doing this, what I would recommend is to take whatever video you have and turn into a GIF. You know, there's tons of um, different GIF converters online to where you can, you know, take a video, maybe you pull like maybe a good three to four seconds of your favorite part, turn that into a looping GIF. And if you put that as your mobile background, you kind of simulate having um, a video background in a way. Um, and that way you'll never have, uh, you know, the, the video or a video or something not playing on mobile. If you go with this route, you know, it looks great and it'll play through the whole video, but you run the risk of some people just seeing like a paused screen. So if you've tried this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if not, you'll probably find out sooner or later. Um, but I would say best practices, you know, make sure that for desktop or PC, you want to use a background video, um, but for mobile, you want to use a GIF. All right. Um, I think that's about it for this tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, you know, leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to join the Discord. Right now, we're doing a two hundred fifty dollar brand uh, brand growth fund. Um, it's something that we want to start doing monthly to start giving like giveaways and helping um you know everyone grow their brands and we're really hoping that one day we can get up to you know giving ten thousand dollar rewards um that we know will for sure really help you know any brand that wins grow um but right now we're starting at 250 bucks um you know if you've bought one of our products uh you should have a link to our discord and the order confirmation email and um, once you join just hit that that giveaway um, channel and you can, you can submit, you know, and, and be part of that giveaway and potentially win 250 bucks. You can use it towards getting samples made. You can use it for running ads for your brand. Um, you can use it for, I don't know, put it towards doing a pop-up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just something for you guys. So that's it for this video. Um, we'll be making more, um, we'll try to do this every single week to show something new with plain Jane and, um, peace guys.